What comes to mind when you hear she-wolves may be different than what it means to a group of girls here at MHS. Here's Sarah Wade with the story. Mason High School is home to many clubs and organizations, but for some who refer to themselves as she-wolves, they take theirs outside of school. Thursday night, the Christian-based club gets together to talk about God, faith, and life. The girls, freshman through senior, get to join together to make lasting friendships with fellow classmates of similar beliefs. We interviewed a few of the she-wolves themselves to get their perspective on the impact the group has had on them. So we decided to start the group. Um, it was largely because of Lily Teakin. Um, she one day was in my car um, on the way home from Young Life and she um, expressed like wanting to know more about the Bible and just like have, wanting to have like an open place to ask questions about um, things that she really like wanted to find the answers to. Um, so I told her that um, I, would, I would take a day each week um, and help her to learn more about um, God and Jesus. Um, and then, so the two of us decided that we were going to make it a bigger group. Um, and so we ran around McDonald's one night, um, and we found a bunch of freshmen's numbers, um, and we put them all in a group <laughs> message. Uh, and that's kind of where it originated. And then we decided to have it on Thursday nights, and it kind of just all started from there impacted me by it's kind of like given me a sense of family in the school like just seeing all these girls I used to see them like walk by the hall and be like should I smile because I kind of know who they are I know their name but once we got into like the group and I got to know them more I felt like we were a wolf pack a she wolf pack <laughs> and um we felt, I just felt really close and I felt like I had a place in the school. Kind of just given me like a sense of community and like um, just kind of getting to know new people and feeling like you're supported and you have friends who are there for you if you need it. Because also we have, like you share your prayer request and then somebody else will pray for you. So I just think it's cool that we have other people praying for you. Like I'm a senior, I'm graduating this year and I'm going through a lot of the same things that like the freshman girls can. So it, it's helped me like to feel like I have a nice little family and um, it's been a really fun thing to do. Um, so the shoe was <laughs> started, it's kind of funny, but um, at Crossroads um, there was like a whole um, series about a wolf pack um, and it kind of focused around like men and like um, them like and what like a wolf pack really meant. Um, and there was one day where they talked about women and what it was like to be in a wolf pack with women um, and how, like, friendship was first and, like, just to put those people first in your life. Um, and so we decided to come up with the term she was, um, <laughs> which was pretty cool. Um, and so that kind of means, like, just like wolves, they stay together in a pack. Um, like, we're staying together in a pack and we're going to protect each other. Um, and there's like the older people in the pack, which are going to help the younger, um, like little pups in the pack. Um, and they're just going to kind of teach them their ways and um, teach them how to survive um, at such a large school like this. So we kind of just call ourselves the She Wolves because we're a big pack of women who kind of stick together and we stick up for each other and we help each other through life, I guess, yeah. After interviewing the girls, we could clearly see the positive impact the group has had on them that will hopefully continue to grow for years to come. I'm Sarah Wade reporting for IMI.